everybody. Uh, hi, everybody, and it's uh, time for another update. It's been some time since my last update to Dust, which is the Draftsman's Universal Statistics Tracker. Um, if you're wondering what Dust, just exactly what the heck Dust is, um, there's some of my previous videos. I'll have some links to um, to explain what Dust is. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, it's a, it's an update. We're now at version 0.06, and let's see. Okay, so now there's some new things. There's now an overall mastery level. And the mastery level tells is an indicator of not just the quality, the average quality of, of the box that you've drawn, but also um, how much of each that you've drawn. So you'll see that some of these cells are semi-transparent, which which indicate that you haven't done a whole lot of circles, right? Um, basically, uh, you can draw up to five of each circle. So when you've done five of each, the box fit completely fills in and becomes solid. So it's it's based on the amount of um, amount of each type of circle that you've drawn as well as the quality the average quality of those circles um, and so there's also now a weakness a weakness practice so what weakness practice does is um, if I go into let's say uh, easy mode now what it does is it goes it looks through the entire database and it looks to see um, which circles have I not been drawing which ones have I drawn the fewest and uh, also it looks at which ones I've done the worst of, like which ones I'm, I'm worst at. So, so what this does is now it trains your weaknesses. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've changed the way it, in which it, it, uh, it tracks the, uh, the circle. It's much more accurate now when it's dealing with squished circles. So I know that some of the really squished circles, it was very hard to get a decent uh, rating on it and um, the average circle that came out was really crazy and all over the place, so that has been fixed up. Um, you'll probably also notice that every time you finish, every time you accomplish, uh, or like finish a circle, it will tell you the change in your mastery level. So you'll see there's a plus 0.1% mastery. Uh, there are, let's see, I think about 120 different uh, ellipses that this thing throw at you, or rather categories. It can throw 120 different categories of ellipses at you. Um, so that's why the, the change seems so slight, um, because it's looking not only at the, um, but there's basically five of, there's 120 different categories, there's five that you can do of each one, so that's why the number change is so slow, is, is so small, and that's, that's how drawing is, right? You make, you make improvements in very, very small, um, in very small increments, so this thing kind of reflects that, that very small change, but it still tries, it still tries to quantify it. Um, now, what else did I put into there? Uh, some slight, oh right, very important now. You'll notice that as you draw, it, listen to the sound, right? The, the sound changes as your aggregate, as your aggregate score goes up, and it goes higher in pitch when you're closer, and uh, it goes lower in pitch when you're further away. And also, you'll notice that it uh, it keeps track of the drawn circle. It keeps track of a very large amount of the circle. And really, the only time that it decides that you're done is when you lift up the stylus. So this thing gets you gives you the opportunity to correct your circle and to keep drawing until that the circle thing you're satisfied with. And then when you release, then it scores what you've decided on. So. This means that even if you make a circle that's like a freaking potato, as long as you don't let go of the stylus, you can continue to draw and hone in your circle and get it about right. And this is how how you know this is this is how I how I originally would trick circles is yeah. At first you start out drawing a, a crappy old potato, you know, piece of crap circle. And then what you do is you correct you know, you correct yourself and you gradually get that circle to do what it's supposed to do. So I mean it now it's now it's it's a lot less of a kind of um it scores when you know when when you're done, right? It scores you when you've lifted up the stylus. However, if you draw only a partial circle, right? So unless you go around like one complete revolution, it will not score you until you make uh, a complete revolution. So in this case I haven't made a complete re revolution. I can just release release on the stylus. Right? Not until you make a full circle that it will score it. And in this case, I, I kind of... I, I don't know if I drew it in the wrong direction, but uh... There. Right, so the idea is... Um, I've got a little bit of text that's kind of going off 
I will eventually fix that, but I figure I want to get this version out to you because there's a lot of really good fix fixes. I like the mastery thing. Um, and, um, you know, I like the, the new ink line system. Also, for the for those of you who actually do use the crosshair, you can, um, there's now a tilted crosshair mode. So the tilted crosshair will tilt the crosshair with the ellipse. So... Bit more of a visual aid, I suppose. And then finally, if I hit quit, then it'll bring me back out here. And um, maybe it's a little harder to see the changes because I've been using this thing so much, and you can see how much it's filled up. And I haven't, and I've just only recently added the weakness practice mode. So W for weakness practice, and um, then there's random practice and all those other modes. So that's about it. This video, I don't want to get too much longer, but um, I, I have, I want to start working on other exercises for the next version. I'm going to start implementing the other exercises. I'll fix up that little uh, text display being wrong. But um, yeah, um, so I mean, I have been, this has been fantastic. People have actually been, a small handful of people have actually been uh, donating money to the project. So that's why I'm still working on it. So um, yeah, please do share it around. You know, let me know in the comments which the program. And um, if you, you know, if you, if you can spare like a buck, that's really awesome. So anyone who donates, like you're, you guys are like total champs. Thank you so much. And um, I'll talk to y'all later and take care.